Hi, Gemini. So, I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and this is your life and love focus for the month of February 2020. Guys, I mean, your energy is so amazing this season. This is for Gemini man and the Gemini woman, too. I wanted to be very specific about that. So, guys, really quickly, okay, um... <laughs> the past few months, I have been talking to you guys about relationships, about money, about being prosperous in the world, about being very forgiving and compassionate, and um, really, really working on that side of you that wants to develop to a higher place, right? And so, it's really interesting to me that <laughs> you got literally the same exact energy this season. The only difference is that the one word for some reason that kept coming to me when thinking of you, Gemini, is value. 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 What are your values? What do you admire the most? What mean a lot to you? You know, not only just that, there's only a piece of it. The other part of value is what do you value? You know, what does money mean a lot to you? You know, how are your how is your relationship with money? It's all about value for you. How do you see your marriage? How do you see your relationship? How do you see your relationship with friends, with business partnerships? How is your relationships going? Values. So I wrote here on my hands. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> so I wrote on my hand, face value. So this season for you is more about observing or paying close attention to what really matters to you. What are your core values? You know, um, it's really about even last month for you, it was really about paying attention to your finances, you know, that give and take energy. What are you putting out there? Are you putting in the best effort possible, right? And it's interesting because, again, you got a lot of that same energy here, okay? So I see all that glitters came out. All that glitters is such a beautiful card normally, right? But for you, it came out in reverse. And normally when that happens, this is not like your traditional tarot deck where um, it's like, oh, my God, something bad is going to happen. That's not what this means. It came out in reverse because this is something you really, really will begin to see. Realizations like no other. By the 15th, going forward in the month of February, okay, that week, well, leaving out that first week, after the Leo full moon on the 9th, right, going forward, okay, but mainly starting from the 15th, you're going to really, really have one of those deja vu moments, have one of those moments where everything like a veil is being taken off or somebody's taken off like a mask, something is being revealed. So I don't know if something is being revealed to you or somebody will find out something about you, okay? But this can even mainly be like, you know, all that glitters ain't gold, honey. That's basically what they're saying. Okay, all that glitters is not gold. So a lot of times, even when we're looking for a new home or we're looking for a new relationship, for a, lot, a great deal of you, I feel like this is a love situation for a great deal of you, okay? It's shiny. It's perfect. Nothing can go wrong. It's everything you ever wanted, you know, and it's just because that is the facade that these people are putting up. That's what they're showing you. Like, I'm perfect. I'm great. I have no flaws, but that is all BS, okay? Not saying that this is not a good person or that they don't have your best interests at heart. What it is saying is that sometimes we don't always reveal things about ourselves unto people until we are really completely comfortable. And again, this could either be you doing this to a person or a person doing it to you. It can be both ways. But there's definitely some mild deception here and something that needs and it will come to the surface, okay? Now, the reason why I keep talking about not taking things for face value is because Again, you'll have one of those moments that's going to feel a bit like deja vu. One of those moments where this can't be real. This don't feel right. Or you may say, hmm, I've been in this place before. This seems so familiar to me. 
what is it about you that I love so much? You know, why? what is it about you that I really don't like? <laughs> and a lot of your answers will be because you remind me a lot of myself. A lot of the answers will be because you remind me of my ex. You remind me of a time or a situation I was in. You know, it can even be a career situation. You may be suddenly going for like this new job or have interest in like applying with a different type of company or maybe in a different type of field, okay? Or even doing something for yourself. Because in the month of January, we spoke a lot about this, about you moving forward and taking some initiatives. And then a lot of you are either really questioning your your reason for doing this or really trying to figure out if you made the right decision. And some of you have not yet um, jumped into the pool yet. You haven't really took that step yet. Some of you have been extremely hesitant, which for most of you, this is a really good thing if you have been hesitant. Um, but the thing is, even though now you feel extra motivated to go through with those plans, beginning February 15th, again, those realizations are going to come out of nowhere. Those epiphanies, your intuition will be skyrocket, okay, because you guys are one of the most intellectual signs of the zodiac. Aside from like Aquarius and Pisces and, you know, with that Leo full moon happening and with the sun being in your sister's sign and with your ruling planets going retrograde, which is also Virgo's ruling planet, okay? Mercury is going to go retrograde the 16th, give or take a day. Depends on where we are in the universe. And of course we know that that's going to slow things down. It can, if it doesn't slow things down for you, Gemini, it's definitely going to put things into a much more perspective for you, where you will have enough time to really sit back and decide, okay, you know, I really like you, but I'm not really sure this is working out. You know, I really like this job, but it really doesn't pay me enough. I really would like a raise. Whatever type of communication or um, something that you're yearning for, whatever that, that gut feeling is that you feel like you just have to make a decision, do not apply pressure to yourself, Gemini. It's okay not to be okay. It's okay to say, you know, right now is maybe not really the best time to jump into a relationship. This is not the right time really for me to um, take on that new job. Even though it feels good and it's glittering, baby, because, you know, <laughs> I already know the job got great benefits. I already know it's convenient to my home. I already know that it's going to be great for travel. It's going to be really good when it comes to the money front, right? Look deeper. You got observed, my love, for a reason. It is time for you to look deep, even deep within yourself. Make sure that this is what you really want, Okay. Again, this does not necessarily have to be about your finances. This can even be about love. For a great deal of you, this can be about both. But I feel very strongly, at, even at the very beginning of the reading, I felt so strongly that this was about love. Oh, my God. Guys, this card here came out last month, in the month of January. And like I said, it was in the past um, area of this reading okay and this time is in the present moment so it's definitely something maybe you were thinking about doing but now you are doing that so you are developing those um amazing people skills you are developing like this whole new you this whole new way of being and you you're seeing that okay i do want better but how can i maintain that better like how can i maintain the the good feeling that i have how can I maintain this great relationship? What Something has to be wrong here because nothing is really this perfect, right? So, and it's not saying that you just want and you're sitting around just hoping things go bad. No, you're actually really grateful that things are moving forward in your favor and things are working out for you. You're really, really grateful for that. But I think that you have a lot of questions. You have so many unanswered questions. And... I think that during Mercury retrograde is not really, it's not that I think, I know. Um, during, during Mercury retrograde is not really the best time to um, bring up any major discussions, okay? Mercury retrograde rules our communication of all sorts, so verbal, sexual, mental, um, emotional, okay? Even our technical 
<laughs> okay, Mercury is a very technical planet. So it definitely rules like our technology in the world, you know, um, just different resources out there. So if you feel like you're missing the missing a link to something, you just might. But for some of you, that resource may come back to you. That ex-girlfriend or boyfriend may return back. Um, some of you may decide to go your own way during Mercury Retrograde. Okay, again, it's not really the best time for great decision making. Mercury will go direct around March 9th or 10th, okay? So just be patient with yourself. Don't, you know, overwhelm yourself with all these crazy emotions and feelings, okay? By the second week of March, you guys will feel so much better. And I know it's like so far-fetched. You're like, oh my God, I cannot wait to March. I got to do this thing now. If you really feel like it's a pressing issue, like if you really feel like this is life or death, it's either now or never, I've got to do this. Pray on it, okay? That's all I'm going to say. But especially, you want to keep your eyes on your finances, Gemini. This is the second time in three months that I brought this up to you. Pay attention to your finances. Make sure that you are spending your money wisely, okay? You know that when your ruling planet goes retrograde, it can has a habit... It has a habit of bouncing back. It has a habit of bouncing back on us, you know, if we overly spend. So if it's not something that's like life or death, like your rent or your mortgage or, you know, something that's like extremely important, do not overly spend this season, Gemini. Do not do it to yourself, okay? Make sure that you are putting your money up for a rainy day. And I don't want to sound like Grandma Susie. <laughs> I'm just, just simply trying to give you guys some really good, solid advice. Look at that. Strategy flew out in reverse. I'm telling you now, you do not want a plan that you are working on to bounce back on you, okay? You may, for instance, go out and decide you want to buy a couch, for example, right? During Mercury Retrograde, like I said, all that glitters ain't gold. You'll be like, oh my God, it's so hot. I love this. It's so comfortable. It's so nice. And then guess what? In about three months, you'll see some great issue with it. The leather begins to tear or, you know, the wheels begin to fall off. <laughs> That's just how Mercury retrograde do you, okay? If you apply for some type of credit, you know, or financing or something, you know, in three months, you might be like, oh my God, I had no, you know, no idea that the interest rate will be this high. Um, so yeah, pay attention to the things that you invest in and that you spend your money on during Mercury retrograde. It's not really the best time for communication. It's not really the best time to sign contracts. And I don't want to be like a deal breaker or like, um, you know, raining on anyone's parade, but this is definitely not even the season to get married. Okay. Or to even get divorced. This is not even the season to try to have a baby. You want to wait, guys. If Mercury retrograde is, can, you know, it has its good benefits to it because it does sometimes bring things up to the surface and help us find things that we're searching for, especially things that is, has been long gone. You know, during Mercury retrograde, sometimes it's really good for things to return to us. Even old emotions may come back up to the surface. And that may be what this is, is for you to sit back and observe, okay, I did this the last time, and what happened to me? You know, you may feel very generous with your love and with your, you know, your compassion. You may want to exchange gifts. You may feel like somebody is being a little El Cheapo. But like I said, do not pressure the moment. Do not pressure yourself. Mercury retrograde is not the best time to do those things. We also have about four, or well, I think five actual planets that's in Capricorn. Mars is in Capricorn, Saturn is in Capricorn, Pluto is in Capricorn, shit, Jupiter is in Capricorn. <laughs> so anytime you got all these planets like that in a sign so serious, trust me, it's, look at this, you can have that, my love, you can have that great abundance, the gifts can come to you. A lot of your creativity is even returning. Thanks to that full moon in Leo, we are definitely feeling extra creative and excited and ready to run the world, right? But pay attention. Don't go overboard, guys. Do not go overboard. That abundance is definitely coming, my love. Okay, for those of you who did not get to experience this in the month of January, wow, what did I say? Contract. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm telling you. Do not do it during Mercury Retrograde. Please wait until the second week of March. 
please wait until like the 15th, 16th, 17th, I don't care. Shit, even wait to April just to be extra certain that that energy is clear, okay? Because even when Mercury goes direct, we'll still have that extra week to deal with all that energy that we were dealing with, with all those planets being in Capricorn and everything was like serious and dynamic and I gotta take care of my business and I gotta do this, you know, feeling all strong and motivated. There's nothing wrong with that, my love, but this is not the time for a contract. Do not get married. Do not get divorced. Do not separate from your loved ones. Do not send your kids down south because they're getting on your nerves so bad. Do not do it to yourself. Wait, 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 wait. Patience is key. Do not take things for face value, guys. I wrote it on my hand because I did not want to forget. Do not take this love for granted. Those of you who feel like this is a love of a lifetime, it very well might be, my love. But if you walk out so soon, how would you ever know? If you are ready to just get that divorce and you're like, fuck this, this ain't working, I'm tired of shit. Listen, relax. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, Gemini, I love you. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week, wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Please like and share and subscribe, and I'll see you next season. Bye.